Breaking news. Gunmen killed army operations officer in Delta State. Hmm. Honestly, this is getting too much bad news every day in Nigeria. It has become a tradition. There is no day you wake up, you will not hear bad news. This one is another innocent soul. They've killed him. All these swans, all these killings, all these things are caused by bad governance. Yeah, some persons are there clapping for the president, clapping for the government. Ah, they are doing well. The best government so far. The best administration so far. Why people no longer close two eyes, you know, to sleep. You can't even eat three square meal. You understand? In fact, Nigeria has collapsed as a country. Though in my comment section here, I can see some persons jubilating. I don't think that is right. It's a human being, no matter how you think about this, it's someone's son, someone's husband, someone's breadwinner in the house has been killed by unknown gunmen and all that. No one deserves to die in such a manner. No matter how you see this, no one should rejoice over this. This is, you know, a premature death. You understand? No one warrants to, you know, be killed in such a crude way. These people who are doing this should, they should fetch, fetch them out to face the consequences. And all that anyway guys let's quickly get straight to the news and get the full details but before then if you are here for the first time we encourage you to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much god bless you operations officer of the three battalion nigerian army a full data state lieutenant Mursa yusuf has been reportedly killed by some unknown gunmen lieutenant yusuf was said to be driving in his personal car late in the night when he ran into the armed men who shot him at close range at a lonely road notorious for criminal activities behind the popular Urubu College in Uve, local government area of the state. His killing has made, his killing has made the police and other security agents raid hotspots around the area which have led to the arrest of some suspects by the police. When contacted, Major Bala, commanding officer 3, Battalion, Nigerian Army, Efro, confirmed the killing of the officer, which he said was one of their finest. finest. The late officer's corpse was conveyed in a military vehicle to where he was immediately buried, according to Muslim rights. Hmm. They should go search every inside or high side hideout of criminals. Let them pay heavily for killing the innocent. You die violently soon. Killing too much here. What exactly are we doing here? Nigeria is never, ever going, you know, anywhere. Can we just stop it here? Too bad. But thank God it did not happen in Igbo land. Otherwise, every building around would have been burnt down. God, we day your hand. Hmm. Don't worry, you will equally die, violent, die violently for your family to know how painful it is. The comments, these are comments by Nigerians, it's becoming tough. So a VIP must have to die for a security to, to do uh, diligence. Being an ordinary citizen in this country is a big risk. <laughs> See, let me tell you, the situation we are right now, hmm, nobody is safe. If you be police, so if you be Nigerian army, you are a civilian, no one is safe. That is the gospel truth. And all these ones, you know, carrying security, men, you know, guided them and all that. <laughs> Don't worry. A time will come, these men will never be there again for them. Because everybody wants to run for their head. Yes, to save their head first. Since the government have refused to do the needful about, you know, the situation of this country, these things will continue to happen every now and then. It will continue to happen because they have failed. The government has failed in their first primary assignment, which is protect the lives and the properties of the citizens. No one is safe in this country. 
So whether you carry gun or you not carry gun, no one say. This one they killed now. Is he not an army guy? He's a soldier. He has been killed. That's how so many of them, you know, is being killed by these people every now and then. Civilians are being killed. Soldiers are being killed. Policemen are being killed. So no one is safe in Nigeria. That is the gospel truth. There is nothing to jubilate here. It can be anybody. We should just try to understand that fact. He killed, they, killed, they killed this person today. There is no need of jubilating. These are human beings. It can be anybody, just like what I said earlier. No one deserves to die, you know, in, in, in this kind of uh, manner. No one deserves to die, no matter what, no matter how you see it. No one deserves. This is an, uh, one of an innocent person. He's, an, he's, 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 he's innocent. He has been killed. You understand? I don't know how we get into this and how are we going to get out from here is, is, is what we don't know. Anyone who is in Nigeria should understand the situation of things here. If they cannot, if they cannot do the needful, they should just better take us back to the uh, uh, PDP administration where they took us from. At least we complain, but we did not complain like this. Things, things were bad though, but it's not worse like this we are facing right now. They should take us back. We are tired. We are tired of crying. We are tired of mourning our young ones. We are hungry. There is no food, no money. Life is really horrible in Nigeria. If you are living in Nigeria, you should understand what I'm talking about. Scarcity of everything. Everything has collapsed. Everything, everything has collapsed. You should know what I'm talking about. Nigerians are not smiling. And these are what is giving birth to all these things. Bad governance. But they will always look for a way to exonerate themselves. They will always look for how to blame anything, any person they want to blame. That is the worst part of it. You know they used to say, anyone who does not take advice, Anyone who does not take advice can never learn. You will keep on making mistakes. That is just the situation we are right now. This government does not want to listen to people's advice. They claim they know it all and they keep on making mistakes. I'm dropping it here, guys. May you so rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much. Bye for now.